So friends, we have made it to the end of the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. It's the last two days. And I will say I am so glad that we made it to the end. The only difficult part for me was the no spend. The cooking was actually just the same way I cook all the time. So that was no problem. But the no spend, it took me out. So I will be in the process of filling all the holes I've created in the last two months in my pantries. So I'll give you a quick tour of my working kitchen pantry, my short-term pantry, and my long-term cold room pantry. So that black hole is where the coffee is. There used to be four there, now there's only two. So for the last two nights of the challenge, I decided to do a couple of family favorites. So I have a jar of my canned hamburger. Here is a jar of the pickled green tomatoes that I did a couple of years back that nobody likes. So I gotta get rid of those, I gotta use them up. And then I have a can of stewed tomatoes that I did in 21. Those green tomatoes are from 2019 and the hamburgers from 21 as well. So I am going to make mangani, hangani, whatever you call it. I have some mushrooms, some pasta sauce, and then some pasta. I've used every single kind of pasta that we have in the house to use this dish. And I think tonight I'll be using the elbow. So that's what I'm going to make tonight for dinner. And it's one of my family's favorite. So, I have my pot here boiling for my pasta. In goes my salt. And I'm using about two cups of pasta for this dish tonight. So, in goes the pasta. And this trick I learned, I don't even remember where I learned it from. But it works so well. Take your wooden spoon and just rest it over your pot. And I guarantee you, it will not boil over. It will not. I'll show you a little bit later. See? It's not going to boil over. It does not boil over. Even though it tries. And I've boiled pasta over so many times. Once I started doing this trick, it never did again. So I'm going to start with these green tomatoes. I'm going to rinse them because they are in a pickling. It is a sweet pickle sauce, but still, I want to get all my... Um, seasonings and everything out of that because I have um, black peppercorns and mustard seeds that I don't want to go in and I am using filtered water. We have a whole house filter and a tap filter so with everything going on I'm glad we have this. So I'm just washing off the green tomatoes and I'll show you what I do with them next. So this is what I was trying to rinse off of those green tomatoes. Nobody wants to bite down on a black peppercorn or a mustard seed and break a tooth. So I wanted to make sure I got those out before I added them into the sauce. And there my pot goes again, trying to boil over, but with my spoon there, it doesn't have a chance. So into my blender, I am putting my green tomatoes and I'm going to blend them up so I can conceal that they're in there. So all I'm going to do is just mash them up. As you can see, they're not going. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of my pasta sauce just to get them moving through this little blender that I have here. Nothing fancy, just a little Hamilton Beach um, blender that I got from Kohl's. And I've had it for about 12 years and it's working great. So I'm just going to blend that up. And as you can see, voila, 
They are now red tomatoes. You would never know these were green tomatoes. And they have all that flavor and they smell delicious. I could probably eat them right out of this blender. So I'm going to put that in to my sauce and you would never know there's green tomatoes in there. So my pasta is cooked and I'm going to use the same pot I cooked the pasta in. So into the pot, I am putting in the hamburger first. I want to get that um, fat uh, rendered down out of it to make sure it's distributed throughout before I start adding in the rest of my ingredients. So even though I know my hamburger coming out of this jar is cooked, I still cook it a little bit more before I add, start adding the rest of my ingredients. I don't know about you, but this is what I do. So once I've sufficiently got that cooked down, I start adding in the rest of my ingredients here, my tomatoes, my um, seasonings. And this is my uh, little um, secret ingredient better than bouillon it's like it's cooked all day so start adding in my mushrooms with the water i'm going to add in my um stewed tomatoes my pasta sauce those green tomatoes that i blended with the pasta sauce that's going in everything's going in it's like a, a dump meal just dump it in the pot let it warm through add the pasta and it's done it's really easy and you know i like quick and easy so once i had all that in i'm going to add in my spices with my other secret ingredient that is actually sugar not salt i'm not adding in any more salt to this because the batter than bouillon has salt in it and i salted my pasta that's a little bit of sugar that i use to cut the acid from the tomato products and i always rinse my jars out with a little bit of uh, water or broth or whatever liquid i'm using and make sure I get all that goodness out of the jars, out of the tins. So I'm just going to let this warm through before I add in my pasta. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed. We'll see how this goes. So that wasn't too bad. I only had two pieces of pasta escape the colander onto the stovetop. So I'm just going to mix this in and pretty much it is done. I am doing this early in the day because we are having a thunder, ice storm and just in case power goes out, I want to have dinner prepared on the stovetop waiting for us to eat. So I try to do this dinner once a month or so, and it is breakfast for dinner. So tonight, we are having French toast, and I think I'm going to put maybe sausage or bacon on the side. If not, just French toast is good. And here it is, quick and easy. You know how I like it, quick and easy. So I just sprinkled some powdered sugar over the top. I didn't have any syrup because it was already sweet. Last month we did uh, pancakes, but we did it the night before the challenge started. So that's why I didn't show any breakfast for dinner last month. Okay, so I wanted to give you a quick overview of what my cold room looks like now that we finished this um, two month pantry challenge. And it doesn't look a whole lot different because what happens is I will pull from um, whatever I product I want um, and then I'll pull another one out of the back um, box into the front again so it doesn't look a whole lot different except for like in the boxes if I really give you an in-depth look in the boxes you'll see that we've used quite a bit so down here you can't really see because it's dark in here even with the light on that's the beans um, there are quite a few left and quite a few missing um, I do have to do beans again and I won't be doing them anytime soon I don't think I have a whole lot of broth there because I actually process broth so even though we've used it I've replenished it and that's why it looks pretty much the same if not fuller than it was the meat section is gonna be a little bit depleted because I haven't canned any meat in these last two months um, because I've been using out of my freezer or I haven't found a good deal on them and we've been using them down say for instance this here is chicken I only have a case left I don't know if you can see that but like this one's missing here so that's what I would do but I use this one off the front I will pull this out of the box and sit it in front so if I send somebody down here it's one sitting in front and then that's the one I want to pull from and I try to do this unfortunately um, like once a week or when I can 
Like if I come down for myself, I come down and pull something. If I don't see one in front, like if I didn't see this in front, I would go in the box and pull one in the front. So it can sit here if I send somebody down. So my tomato products are definitely replenished. I process all my tomatoes from last year's um, garden season. In January, I put up that um, video. And so I've got so much um, tomato products here. Even though I've been using them, I've got quite a few left. So over here, like the cream cheese and stuff. I've used a couple of those on bagels like last month. We have, I'm not sure how many we have left, but as you can see, the box here is kind of empty, but we have do have some left. Um, again, this would be right here, would be my caramelized onions. We've been going through quite a few of those, and I don't see where they are right now, but I'll pull one out and put it here. These are celery and um, Swiss chard stalks that I use as celery. That's what that is right there. Um, meat. So down here to the rest of the meat section here, I have my beef. I wanna use up this Keystone beef first before I use up my home cam beef because I don't know if you can see that the tins are dented. This one's dented as well. Before I use up um, what's left of my home cam beef and it's not very much of that left. Here I have up the top, it's turkey. And down here is chicken marsala. This is all the hamburger I have left, two cases, and then this one out here. Down here to the jams and jellies. Have a good bit left. I won't have to do that anytime soon. Down here is my water glass eggs. I don't know if you can see that. There's only two jars left. I started off with six, and now there's only two left. But we've been using that throughout um, last year as well. So since I did my last one, I think it was in like September maybe, I did that makeover of this room. That's where we had six. I think it was six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was six, but one we had been using anyway. So there are some more of the already canned up meals. And on the end there is soup. So here is like milk canned cream which we use quite a bit of over there is butter in the corner is vinegar down here is the butter we've used quite a bit of butter in the last two months here is evaporated milk or I don't know if it's no it's not condensed at this point in time it's just still evaporated milk well it was milk and I made it into evaporated milk I guess if I would have cooked it down more it would have been condensed but it's not as thick or sweet as condensed here is the veggies that we have left. We've been using a lot of carrots out of here. Corn we have. Um, here is the fruits and more veggies down there. More carrots. Here's the pie fillings. But over here is what we've been using so much of. So much, there's so much peanut butter gone. There's, I wanna say at least four or five jars of peanut butter gone between eating it and just using it on like my oatmeal and, and sandwiches and that sort of stuff. Here I was using these for making cookies. You saw me make that three ingredients cookies and this is what I used. I haven't used um, that chicken too much. We've been, well not me, cause I don't like sardines. Going through sardines quite a bit. There's only, this was full. Now it's um, down. Uh, a couple of hams, I think one or two hams are gone. Just one of those because the kitchen working pantry was stuck before we started as well as the short-term pantry which is in my office closet was also stuck so we've gone through all of that and that's where we hit this down here so not too much of the tomato products over here gone but what is gone a lot is the canned fruits and the canned veg we probably did about one or two, I'll have to check, of the cases of peaches, pears, and mixed um, fruit, fruit cocktail. And we definitely did two of each of the veg. And no two cases of the vegetables down here. Because we only do carrots, french style green beans, and um, corn mostly. But we do some sweet peas and mixed veg as well. But that's mostly what has gone out of here. Mostly the canned fruit and the canned veg, mostly. Over here, we didn't do a whole lot of damage. I think one coffee creamer went. The liquid IV is gone. Um, the whey protein, one of those are gone. 
and none of these freeze dried because I told them not to touch any of that. We didn't go through any of that. Uh, pumpkin, when I did those pumpkin cookies, I pulled it from down here because I didn't have it anywhere else. I don't think I've done any of the other baked stuff because I had upstairs. And no pancake syrup. We already had some upstairs. And you can tell this one is good and old because she's no longer around. She's now someone else. So, yeah. So you know how long I've had those. So those one, two, three, three of this size and a big one. That should last us quite a bit. And the condiments didn't pull from down here. None of this like ready to do soups. We all had a lot of stock of those upstairs. The canned um, meals, all that upstairs. But look at this, my oil. You see that? That's olive oil. You know why that is like that? It's not going bad, it's just really cold down here. And when olive oil gets cold, it starts to solidify. Looks kind of crazy, kind of icky, kind of gross, but it is fine and it's good to use. So down there is some chicken that we pull from. That's the chicken with the bones in it and potatoes in the quart size. And there's some juices and drinks and stuff which we didn't pull from at all because we don't drink that much. Even though we spin you around here, we have a lot of it up there that we didn't pull from either. None of it. I don't think we drank anything from up here, nothing. Nothing, 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 as you can see, it's still full. So, yeah. So that is my cold room after two months of eating out of it. And the water, did a couple of cases of water are gone. Um, I think one of these and one of those. So, yeah. And we just drank like bottled water from the, um, a filter water from the tap. So that's what my cold room is looking like right now after the two month challenge is over. So these are the empty mason jars that we have after this two month pantry challenge. I have two cases of the regular mouth um, pint size and I'm pretty sure I have at least two or three that I used on different projects like canning up my broth and canning up my tomatoes. These are pint wide mouth and I know for sure I used a case and a bit whatever that is on another project here is all the butter we used this everything I made sure to put butter jars in one case and this is crazy to know how much we used in a month I mean two months and these are the quarts that we used. we used some of these again for another project canning up some of that potato soup and these were those ready-made meals that I did up um, and I showed you how I was using them. So that's what those are. And then down the bottom, I have uh, half pints. And these are mostly uh, caramelized onions, peppers, and that sort of thing. And that's what those half pints came out of. And this half pint white mouth was actually peppers that we used to use on um, pizzas and that sort of stuff. So these are all the jars I have used in the last two months. And it's crazy. So, um, yeah. So the rest of them were repurposed for other projects. I'm just amazed at how many jars we went through in a month. I'm sorry, two months. I keep saying a month in the two-month pantry challenge. Thank you so much, friends, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And click that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Because the journey will continue.